Hi, how are you doing today? Well, today we are having a hurricane in Southern California, which is highly unusual. And you know what else is highly unusual? We're off to Europe. We are going to Europe for a very, very special reason. I have two films that are premiering at the Fright Fest Film Festival in London, England, and I have them both on the same day. Now, one of those films is during the day, and one of those films is during the night. So I need two very different outfits to wear to these premieres. I need a daytime outfit and a nighttime outfit. And along the way, I'm gonna have a lot of other days and nights. So the daytime outfits that I don't choose for the premiere will be what I wear every other day. And the nighttime outfits that I don't wear for the, for the premiere will be the things that I wear every other night. So we are going to try on a whole bunch of outfits and figure out what the heck I'm gonna be wearing to these two premieres and every other day. While we are spending five days in London, three days in Scotland, and four days in Paris, and it is going to be amazing. But let's play dress up and pick out some clothes. I hope you will please help me out and drop your comments down below, which are your favorites. And then uh, I will be taking you along with me. We will do a get ready with me while I am in London and I will be presenting it to you in early September. So check it out and drop your opinions down below. Let's get started. I got this dress at a resale shop several months ago and uh, just bought it because I loved it. And I love the skulls. Um, it's really fun, really comfortable. So I think it's a strong contender for a nighttime. What do you think? So spicing it up with a little bit of hot pink because there are tiny little hot pink details all over the thorns of the roses. So what do we think about the pink? What do we think about the harness? Let's look at it. Just the harness. So this time, trying it with some boots, some fishnets, and a belt. Same dress, just really different shoes. Shoes and tights. I know you're getting tired of seeing this dress, but I love how it can mix and match with so many different things, and I plan on re-wearing it many times. How many shoes does she have? So I've always loved the white boots. I love the little 60s detailing. Um, I'm wondering if they might be a bit whiter than the dress. They might pop too much. <laughs> so really bringing it up a lot, lifting it up a lot and belting it, just as an alternative. Do we like it belted more or long and flowing more? I got this dress at Anthropology, and I love it because it has this, this very 
Taylor Swift folklore, witchy poo vibe, and I just, I love that. So this is trying it on with the tights and the boots, which is gonna be great if it's cooler. I just love standing in this dress. <laughs> Do you like them with the tights or do you think better without the tights? They are a little darker than my skin. So this is the dress that I wore to the Cuck premiere. Remember it? I do. I was there filming yeah, it. Yeah, you were tugging on everything for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> if you flip around the back. Okay, how's that? That strap is starting to gather at one side. I can't, oh, yep, yep, right there. So, I, yeah, I, at the premiere, I kept, you know, adjusting you yeah. very, very quietly and secretly with one hand behind your back, almost like to make people think I was affectionate, but I was fixing, I was like wardrobe. I know, but that is, that is the thing we'd have to be concerned about again yeah. if we do this. And, of course, I'll be there. At the UK with you. And I love the dress, but I'm not sure if it's right for. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, I'll we'll watch see. the video and then I'll know. We'll see what your audience thinks. Yeah. yeah. This is for them. They're weighing in? Yeah. All right. Okay. I picked this dress up from a store called That's a Wrap. So it would make it kind of appropriate to wear this dress for the premiere of That's a Wrap, right? Second hand. Love the color, love the shape. Is it too flashy and is it the right theme for a horror film festival? Gorgeous dress. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is maybe a little conservative, maybe a little more something I wear to a wedding rather than something I'd wear to a film festival. What are your thoughts? Uh, love the color. Wish I had a little bit more of a tan because um, I feel like I need a little tan with this dress, but super fun. Got it at Marshalls. So those are the nighttime looks that I'm playing with and I'm going to double up. They're going to play, everything's going to play a couple of times. Uh, because I'm bringing an astronomical amount of shoes. <laughs> Let's do daytime. Hey, Colby, quit pulling your fur out. I know, please don't. Thank you, honey, you're a good boy. Right, okay, so we're going with, uh, going with a little funky vibe. This is an outfit I got in H&M, it's Iris Outfall. And I've never worn the whole thing together. I've only worn the jacket. I've never worn the skirt before. Mm -hmm. so. now, would this be for the evening premiere or the daytime? I think for daytime. I think for the daytime premiere, it's still, I think it's still dressy, but it's still casual. Um, I'm really undecided with, I mean, I just don't know what to wear to a daytime premiere. Okay. So. Um, but I think this is fun and interesting, and... Will you do me a favor and take off your jacket so I can see what the top looks like? Thank you. Nice. Yeah, we're talking. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks, so. The jacket may come into play with other outfits, so... If, if it does, it's coming on the trip, so we'll see. I like this. This feels pretty cute. Comfortable. Boots are 
which are good. Okay. Do me a favor, take the jacket off. Let me see what everything looks like. Yeah, because my concern is if I take the jacket off, is the lavender weird? No, not at all. Makes it fun. Okay. Just say. Does it look like I have dead blue legs? Kind of. <laughs> Should the, I dye my belly? Isn't that the theme Should of the world? Like, heart on my belly or something? You could. All right. Yeah, really happy with this. I also think that if I put fishnets on with this, this could be nighttime. Mm -hmm. Super cool. So the rain that's coming down torrentially right now inspired me to think that I might want a hat. And I know this top is kind of crazy. It's really wrinkled, but what do you think? Is this weird? Is this crazy? It's a lot of fun. Fun and fashionable. Pretty amazing. Yeah, Can you take the jacket off for a second? Yeah. Oh. So I love it. It's just a, a Kermit t-shirt. Yeah, it's just a Kermit t-shirt. It's, I mean, he's got jeans on, but I felt like I should tuck it in. Okay. But definitely needs a little pressing. And do you, I think the green jacket, or do you think a black jacket? Uh, probably the black. Black would be fun with it, or the green. Green pops. Hard, um, and he gives it color. Some of Kermit green translates to the jacket. It's not a perfect match at yeah. all, but it's the idea that it. And I probably lose the tights. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and you could switch out from the, black the thigh highs, go to blacks, or go to um, fishnets. Fishnets and then, hooch it up a little. Uh, you know, but the, the bucket hat drops it down. Yeah. And then you once you accessorize it, you know, this is a. Well, her thing. Her <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah, it'll be a fun. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to a horror, horror movie, okay. basically. Love it. Oh, it got dark. That looks great. That would be amazing with the bucket hat. Can I grab the bucket hat? No, but but I think it'd be a great look. This outfit but, is put together by Howard. <laughs> He gets all the credit for this. Skirt pops hard up everything, and then the Mickey Mouse shirt is just a lot of fun. And the vegan leather jacket. Yeah, vegan leather jacket, children's size 12. Ooh, that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. Yeah, it used to fit better. Okay. We may have to make an adjustment. So we were talking about this jacket. I got this jacket for myself as a birthday present about 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a little longer than that. And I really couldn't afford it at the time. But you know, sometimes you got to splurge and it has paid off. I've gotten so much use out of this jacket. I love this jacket. Is it a little too on the nose for going to Britain? <laughs> the red coats are coming. Indeed. Gosh, that looks great. Too. Tell me about this outfit. I got this outfit at Anthropology. I got the jumpsuit at Anthropology, blouse I've had for quite some time, obviously. Uh, could do with a pressing. Um, I love it. I love the, the fact that it's got a little little short to it. I like the, the little slits. I like the fact that it's got an attached vest, making it more of a jumpsuit rather than pants. I think it's fun for daytime. I think it's fun for nighttime. So this is more of a nighttime look with the with the high heel boots, I think. Um, I'm gonna go throw on some flat shoes.
Give me there before yeah. you get into flat shoes. Put the uh, checkerboard. This little uh, turtleneck that I got at Anthropology. I think it's super fun and funky and has a 1960s vibe. Quick question if you were to change shoes and go away from the page boots, what are your thoughts? You know, I thought about doing the um, tobacco pump. Let's see how that looks. Okay. There we go. Lighten it up a little bit. I think they make it a little more fun. What do you think? I think they look great. I think this, you know, they're not a perfect match with the gold tan on the uh, sweater you're wearing, yeah. the checkerboard, but I think they're nice. They're far enough away that it can sell. You're right. So, just a different shoe trunk style. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah. I'm going to try. outfit but I don't have a top that works so I'm just playing with a scarf. Okay. It all feels very loose and tentative. Like I could just go flying out at any moment. <laughs> but may still keep my eyes open for a pink t-shirt. Those elements are amazing. They are. They're just amazing. I love them. Could never wear them on a day like this. No. It's very practical. It looks lovely. Yeah. It'd be nice to be go out shopping and wearing something like this. Yeah, this is cool. just a good casual look. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look great. By the way, the shoes do look good. Thank well you. done. You well done. You're the one that gave them to me. Yeah, gave me all your shoes. Yeah. Not all my shoes. Because I gotta tell you something. I'm kind of done. Okay. I'm kind of done with playing dress up. I'm hot. Okay. Okay. So, just, I'm not gonna be in high heels the whole time. I have, I'm gonna, I've been bringing black jeans and I've got blue jeans. So, I'm gonna swap those out. Uh, I've got my pink Doc Martens, pink jacket. I also have my black Doc Martens. And I'm going to be swapping out. I'll be wearing jeans a lot during the day. And it's going to be either the t-shirts or the sweaters. I have a black silk blouse. Uh, you know, just some basic, basic, everyday mix and match kind of items. So I've shared with you all the really fun stuff and the basics. Can you do it there? Can you pull your pants like that? Just so I can see. I don't do it. Ooh, I know. I could roll them. What you think any accessory ideas you might have drop it down I'm bringing not real fancy jewelry more just accessories um, I'll be playing with hair and makeup I'll be doing get ready with me's for you while I'm there and then editing them all when I get back and um, think about me on August 25 and watch that's a wrap you can stream it it's all over VOD. You could just turn on your TV, type in that's a wrap, look for it, you'll find it. It's somewhere. Thank you for watching this. I love you bunches, and uh, I will talk to you in a couple weeks. Excellent. Oh my god. You just inhaled that. That was awesome. You want another one? Oh, <laughs> yes.
So you could do the big one? Yeah, I need the big one. 